What's the worst thing a parent has ever said to you? When I asked that question a week ago, I got thousands and thousands of video responses from all walks of life from different countries around the world. This topic seems to unite a lot of us. So I decided to take many of those responses and put it into this video. First, be sure to hit the like button and share this video. Secondly, I want to warn you, some of the topics are heartbreaking and it could trigger some emotions that you're not prepared to deal with. So keep that in mind while watching. I was told this multiple times. They said, why couldn't you be a miscarriage? My mom said I was a whore. Yay, me. The best of me ran down my mother's leg. I should have been strained through an athletic sock. The best thing that ever came out of me was the tax return. There were a few other ones, but I still haven't quite dealt with those yet. I had this habit as a child of chewing on everything just constantly nervous and just chewing on my nails or whatever was around. And it drove my parents crazy. And one day we were outside and my dad said to me, he said, Linda, one day a man's really going to like you because you like to put things in your mouth. Now, in his defense, he didn't think I was old enough to understand what he meant. And part of me didn't, but part of me very much did. And I became very self-conscious about eating in front of men. And um, I definitely stopped chewing on things. Where do I start? Being told, I wish you were never born. I hate your guts. Um, come watch me unalive myself because you make me miserable. At six, seven years old. Been told that a few times during visitation with my mother. I did my time. I grew up in a very physically and mentally abusive household. And I will never forget when I was 12 years old, I got in trouble for something at school. I don't even remember what it was. And one of my parents brought me home. I'm not going to mention which one and told me that I was effing retarded and that I would never amount to anything. Christmas day, 1988. 10 years after my parents had disowned me and thrown me out for being gay, I called just to try and reach out. My father answered the phone. I said, Dad, it's Michael. And he said, I figured you'd be dead from AIDS by now. And he hung up the phone. I never had contact with my parents ever again. Um... A little backstory. Back in 2016, I was severely depressed and I had many reasons back then to end my own life. I almost succeeded and I'm really grateful to this day that it didn't work out because of many reasons that I won't get into. But um, my relationship with my mom was never really great. Um, but when I told her I tried to commit suicide, she told me how worthless I was that I wasn't her daughter, that she didn't recognize me anymore, and that she's really disappointed in me. I was 12 years old, and I asked my mom, Mom, am I pretty? And she said, yeah, pretty ugly. My mother actually told me that she wished that she hadn't had me. I was 11. And I don't think that was the first time that she said it. It was 1980, I was 17, I came out to my parents and my mother looked at me and said, you are lower than whale shit and that is at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. It was what happened after my mother had told my stalker to go away, go home, and she was gonna deal with the situation later. She proceeded to yell at me and make the situation as if it was my fault and asked, did you want me to fuck you? Do you want me to fuck you right there in the living room? Like, I get it. I get it, parents get scared. 
in these situations, but the last thing you want to do is make it so that somehow it was your teenager's fault. When my mother went through my phone and saw that I was venting to my aunt, her older sister, about her, I was greeted with the phrase, you evil, vindictive, venomous So I actually tell the story a lot because of the fact that people always ask me, like, why do you have so much ambition to do what you do? Why do I push so hard to become a writer? Why do I push so hard for basically everything in my life? And I even remember telling this story to my mother because she said, well, you're really ambitious. And I'm like, do you remember the story? And she's like, I don't, but that sounds like something he would say. So when I was younger, I was writing at a college level by the time I was in like eighth grade. Um, I was helping my mom in her college papers. I would help her write her essays. And yeah, I was just really good at writing. I loved writing. I had wrote this really good essay for school because we were allowed to write it about any topic we wanted to. I'm obsessed with Star Trek. I got into it. I really, really got into this essay and I was so excited and I was so proud. By the time it was done, I showed my parents. After my dad reads it, um, he like kind of looks at me and he goes, where did you get this off of? I was like, no, I wrote that. Like, I'm the one who wrote it. It's, it's me. I did it. And he looks at me and he goes, no, you took this off of something because there is no way that you could write like this. Like, there's no way. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe he was just joking with you or pulling your chain. No, no, no. Like, he honestly thought that I just went online and got an essay offline and just was trying to turn it in as my own. To this day, I tell myself that I will prove him wrong because he always told me when I was younger that I would never make it as a writer, that I should think about something else, my head's up in the clouds, blah, 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 blah. So my life ambition is to make it specifically to spite him. And yeah, it might not be an amazing reason, but it keeps me going. It fuels my fire. It makes me as ambitious as I am. So as much as I may hate that and as much it might be traumatic for me, it just allows me to push harder for my dreams. Worst thing said to me was by my mom. Um, I had told her that I was raped at the age of 16 and I had fallen pregnant because of it. I had miscarried that baby and she told me, you shouldn't be opening your legs in the first place, but maybe this will teach you to keep your legs shut. No wonder he hit you. Look at how you act. When I was little, my mother would always say, I only love you because you're mine, but I don't like you. Whenever I was bad, that's what she would always say to me. My mother committed suicide when I was 17. Prior to that, she made multiple attempts at the same thing. When I was 13, during one of her attempts as she went out the door with my hunting rifle in the middle of the night, I knew what she was going to do. I bolted out the door to stop her. After confronting her in the knee-deep snow for about 30 minutes, she said, Fine. You think you're so smart? Then I guess you get to watch. I succeeded in getting the gun away from her, and that was the last thing I remembered from that night. I was in my mid-twenties, and my parents got a divorce. And, um... I ended up having gangrene from a ruptured appendix that had been misdiagnosed and went into the hospital and um, almost died from it. And the day I came home from the hospital, my father said, you know, if you had died, it would have brought your mother and I back together. And I want her back. Well, I waited, I think, two or three years, and I finally asked him, I said, Oh, dad did you did I hear that right or did you mean did you mean that and he goes yes I did I meant that your mother and I would have been brought back together I remember asking my mom when I was a little girl I was like mommy am I pretty and at the time I was you know chubby short hair insecure so I said, Mommy, am I pretty? And I remember she told me, you're attractive. You're attractive. You are a failure in life. Directly out of the mouth of my mother. Two of the most notable ones was when she told me that it was an embarrassment to be my mother. And she said that in front of 
my sister, one of my sister's friends, I'm pretty sure one of my friends was there too when she said that. And also the time that she said I ruined her life. After coming back from a summer camp, the welcome was, I don't know why you came back. We were better without you. When I was between the ages of six and eight, I was in the car with my entire family and my father would mention to my to my mother really loudly, maybe if I hit my our children, they will be performing better in school. <laughs> 